Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Hi guys, this is Rob. Today is a Traeger day and I'm making something I've never made before and I saw it on another video. And basically it's beans, hot dog or spicy hot dogs, and bacon. <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong. So uh, if you need to know the temperature of the Traeger, the Traeger we ran at 275 and then towards the end I took it up to 300 to try to boil it off a little bit. Turned out real good, a little bit on the sweet side, but an uh, awesome little treat. So I'll show you how I made it. So the first thing we're going to do is cut up some hot links. There's five in a package. They're very inexpensive, but taste real good. Once we cut up the hot links, it's time to cut up a half a white onion. Our goal here is to saute the onions and the hot links together in a moment. This is where I get to show my craftsmanship with a knife, not. Okay, I pulled out my wok, turned on the oven, and we threw in a little bit of uh, olive oil. Now we're gonna put my onions in and get them all toasty. Right after that, I start adding my hot links. Now throughout this whole video, I'm actually still cooking these together and just getting them all mixed and cooked and savory and the whole thing while we're doing the other part. So I'm starting off with some chili beans and uh, these are easy to open so I just threw mine in the bowl. Next I'm using some low sodium red beans. Now I'm going to add some petite diced tomatoes. Now it's time to add a little bit of molasses. Now this is an exact science, but uh, I just kind of put it into what I want. I added some more later, you'll see. Adding some garlic salt now. You know, I was not cheap on it, just put some in there. This is a new spicy honey barbecue sauce that uh, I wanted to try. I like honey barbecue sauce, but I thought I'd add a little bit of spiciness to it. And it, it seems like pretty good stuff. Next I added some apple cider vinegar. Not too much, just a dabble do ya. I also decided to put some leftover honey. I just thought I'd finish this bottle off and just uh, add it to the mix just because it sounded good. Next I grinded up some pepper and uh, just did it to my liking. Um, I went kind of heavy, but uh, not too bad. While I'm doing all this mixing, I keep checking on my onions and hot links. Now here's the important part, beer. So I'm going to add some beer, about maybe one fourth of the bottle. And of course you save the rest for yourself. Next is a little hot sauce and just a little dab will do you. You don't have to go too crazy with this unless you like it hot. And here's the magic ingredient, bacon. So notice why I have my back turned. Who's checking out the bacon? Luckily I turned around in time. So I cut the bacon up in little one inch squares. And uh, so it'd be easy to put on top of the mix when I'm done. So I mixed things together a little bit and I had a little bit more of a vinegar taste than I wanted so I did add some more molasses to give it more of a sweeter taste. And uh, so that was me doing that right here. I probably should have backed off on that a little bit but it still turned out good but a little bit sweet. So now it's time to add the hot links and the onions into the mixture and get them all soaked up with goodness. I uh, mixed it up the best I could and got ready for the next step. Oops, I almost forgot the spicy brown mustard. Uh, that's a must. So I got a little bit of that in there before I forgot. And I, of course, get it all mixed up as good as I could. Of 
So now it's time for the presentation. So I thought I'd get one of these pans, but I still want to uh, protect it with some uh, tin foil. So I just got to get a little tin foil wrap on here and got it all ready. And uh, made sure that I didn't have like any air pockets between the, the pan and the tin foil. Then just added all my goodies all together into the pan and got ready for the bacon. Uh, I did a little time lapse on this just to uh, speed the process up, but you can see how I got all the little bits of bacon on the top and uh, covered up the whole thing. And uh, it was amazing that a whole pound of bacon would just uh, be perfect for this dish. And voila, bacon goodness. The trigger is ready at 275. It is time to add it in here and we'll let it cook for about three or four hours. Nice and slow to get the smoky flavor into it. And here is the finished product. It was almost like a chili, uh, a little bit on the sweet side, but actually as it cooled down, it actually got less sweet and thicker. Turned out to be a really good meal great to have with cornbread. Oh my God. Happy camper. See you next time guys. Hey, thanks for watching Outdoor Travel Channel and cooking with the Traeger Grill. Had a good time? Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the world. We'd appreciate that. Have a great day everyone.